Hi everyone, welcome to Mechanical Diaries YouTube channel. In this video, you will know about one of the most important and critical equipment from refinery, its breech lock heat exchangers. So please don't skip the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. This exchangers is used in high temperature and high pressures process unit for heat transfers. Only two types for this exchangers. One it's a high and high. Another it's a high and low. And how you know the types of exchangers visually. High and high, it's bundle removable and shell it's fixed. Tube side and shell side both it's a high pressures. Next high and low types. Shell can remove and bundle fixed with channel. Tube side very high pressure and shell side is very low pressure like one third. Next we'll go for types of hydro test for those exchangers. First we'll go to high and high types. High and high have a two types of hydro test. One it's a differential test and another it's a combined test. First you should know what is differential test. It means what is a differential test pressure between shell side and tube side. Like tube side for 1000 PSI and shell side it's 3000 PSI so differential test pressure is 1000 PSI. And it will be done on only shell side. Next is a combined test. It will be done on both side at the same time. Now I will explain very clearly. While you are going to do combined, you should pressurize shell side and tube side at same time. Don't do it separately. Pressurize both sides same time very, very gradually. So please take care combined test. Maintain at least 200 PSI different only. Otherwise, bundle gasket will get damaged. Next, we'll move to high and low type. This type also have to test, but not same like high and high. It's like our normal exchanger's hydro test. First, we have to start tube side because tube side, it's a high pressure. So first need to do tube side, then fix the shell and do shell side hydro test. Next, I will explain about internal parts of those exchangers. First, we'll see high and high type. First parts, it's a removable bundle. Next, fixed shell, internal channel, stuffing box, partition cover. Internal flange, split key, diaphragm backup ring, diaphragm plate, diaphragm support ring, outer compression ring, inner compression ring, channel plug, threaded ring. This are all for high and high type breech lock exchangers only. Next, we'll see high and low type exchangers internal parts. First, it's a fixed tube bundle. Second, it's a removable shell. It's like a trolley type we can pull the shell. Internal channel. Will attached with tube bundle. Stuffing box. Partition cover. Diaphragm backup ring. Diaphragm plate. Diaphragm support ring. Outer compression ring. Inner compression ring. Channel plug. Threaded ring. Hilo type don't have a internal flange and split key. This is a different between high high and high low type. Next we'll see all internal parts where it's placed in exchangers. Now why show you high and high type. Removable YouTube bundle. Fixed shell. Internal channel. Stuffing box. Partition cover. Internal flange. Split key with bolt. If we tight the split key bolt, shell side will be closed. Up to the split key assembling, we can do the differential hydro test from shell side. After complete the differential test, we can start assembling for tube side. Diaphragm backup ring, threaded ring or lock nut, plug or channel, outer bolt, inner bolt, diaphragm plate, diaphragm support ring, up to lock nut tightening completed, tube side assembling done. We can do combined hydrotest from shell and tube side nozzle. For all bolt tightening, we should follow the torque value as per manufacturer data. Next, we'll go to the gasket sessions. High high type almost will come three gasket only. Some exchangers have a staffing box gasket. And tube sheet to internal channel gasket also will come for avoid metal contact. In this slide, I show you common exchanger gasket only. First gasket, it's diaphragm gasket. 
Second gasket partition cover gasket. Third gasket it's two bundle gasket. I hope you know the basic of breech lock exchangers. Next we'll start the maintenance activities. Whenever we going to start the maintenance activities, first we'll start from the blinding activities. For blinding should be start from the inlet nozzle. Because if you fix blind on inlet nozzle, you will get less risk on next flanges, so please keep in your mind whenever going to make blind should start from inlet. After blinding, we cannot dismantle directly. Before start dismantling, we should take marking and measurements on lock nut area. Where and how we'll take measurements. Please watch closely. First mark the threaded ring. How much length out from the exchanger shell? Take measurements on all bolt external length how much and note it. Like inner bolt how much, outer bolt how much, and inner plug bolt how much. Then can start dismantling. For all type of breech lock exchangers dismantling have special tools. This tools we have assembled before start the jobs. For assembling we need to read the user manual and proceed to assemble the special tool. Special tools parts name is connecting device. Lifting beam, lifting hook, and mainly counterweight. This counterweight should be equal weight of lock ring. Otherwise, we cannot remove the lock ring. Then fix the special tool with lock ring. For removable of lock ring, we need to crane. One will hold the special tools and another crane will rotate the lock ring. Now you can remove slowly the lock ring. After remove the lock ring, take measurements from shell to compression ring and count the total tread of lock ring and note it. Next plan to remove channel plug with diaphragm. This activity no need to crane only one crane is enough. For remove those parts we need to change connecting device on special tools as per manufacturer data sheet then remove slowly. After remove take measurements from shell to diaphragm support ring. Next make plan for remove internal flange. Same we need to change connecting device from special tools. First loose the flange bolt. Fix the special tools. Remove very slowly from the exchanger and take care of the threaded area. After removable of internal flange take measurements from shell to internal channel and change connecting device from special tools. First need to loose all bolt from stuffing box. Otherwise we cannot remove internal channel. Then fix the special tools and remove very slowly from the exchanger. After remove the internal channel, take measurements from shell to bundle tube sheet. Why repeatedly saying to take measurements? Because this all measurements will help you when you are to going to box up. So measurements it's a very very important for breech lock heat exchangers. We reached the final parts of dismantling it's a tube bundle. Removal of tube bundle also needs some special tools to pull the bundle from shell. Once tube sheet will reach out from shell, use crane to hold the tube bundle and pull the bundle slowly, slowly. One more option also we are using it. Pull the bundle by forklift and hold by crane. For crane defending about bundle weight, need one crane or to crane. Remove bundle slowly and very, very safely. Now we finished breech lock exchangers dismantling. After removed all parts, we can start inspections activities and hydro test preparations. For hydro test, we need to make three types of fitting manifold. Now you are seeing first manifold. Manifold also called as hydro test fitting. Let's explain how to make. For this manifold, we should be use a high pressure fittings only. Please don't use low pressure fittings. High pressure threaded nipple. High pressure needle valve. High pressure threaded T. Pressure relief valve. Pressure gauge as per our test pressure. High pressure threaded union. And assemble like this image. Pressure relief valve will be calibrate 1.5 times from test pressure. Pressure gauge also need minimum one third of test pressure. Next we'll see the three types of hydro test manifold as I told you before. Please watch closely. One manifold will come on the outlet nozzle, and second one will come inlet nozzle. Please fix the PRV manifold on outlet nozzle. Third is a very important manifold. It's a combined hydro test manifold. Please make like this image and tight the all threaded fitting very clearly. Otherwise, while doing hydro test, fitting will be leak.
Next, must need a two numbers of pneumatic hydro test pump for pressurizing. Please like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe my channel and comment about this English version. Okay, let's start. Once we finish our inspection activities, get clearance from inspection. We can start assembling of breech lock exchangers. Before start the assembling, please check and read the measurement you wrote while dismantling. First fix the bundle as per our measurements, then fix the internal channel. Next internal flange. Please check all measurements what we have and tight the internal flange bolt. Please keep in your mind, don't tight the stuffing box up to differential test. Internal flange bolt should be tight by design torque value as per manufacturer data. For bolt tight also have tightening patterns. Then we can start water filling. Breech lock exchangers, it's a high temperature equipment. While doing pressurizing equipment need to be make temperature. So for water filling need to use boiler feed water and circulate up to get the required temperature. Once you reached the temperature, can start pressurizing. After pressurizing, hold the pressure and call inspection engineer for clearance. I will remain you one more time for differential hydro test exchanger will be box up, up to internal flange only. You got a clearance from inspection, can start assembling for combined test. Assemble the balance parts, as like you dismantle, as per our measurements. Please keep in your mind. All bolt tightening should be follow the torque value as per manufacturer data, then can start water filling by boiler feed water. After air venting done, use to pneumatic hydro test pump for both side and pressurize equally, but you can keep 100 PSI or 200 PSI different nada issues, but don't go more different. Once tube side pressure reached, stop tube side pump and keep shell side running up to reach shell side test pressure. Finally, how you know, exchangers test it's okay or not. First check the both pressure gauge. Pressure gauge must be hold on same pressure. Second you can check the shell channel area one weep hole will be there. Check the hole there is any leak or not. If you not found anything hydrodist success, you can call inspection engineer for final clearance. Okay once inspection cleared the combined test, don't drop the pressure suddenly. Depressurizing also it's a very important. We will go for depressurizing. Release very slowly and parallelly and maintain 100 PSI to 200 PSI. Finally we reached the last maintenance activities. It's a deblinding. Before I told you when you are going to make blinding, start from inlet. Now for deblinding should be start from outlet. It will reduce your risk and safest way also. After deblinding. We can hand over the equipment to operation department. I hope now you know about breech lock exchangers. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Join with us and stay with Mechanical Diaries.